four days away from the biggest shopping day of the year. So how do you get more bang for your buck? Our Dorothy Tucker is live in the loop with what you need to know. Dorothy. Well, Rob, there is a lot of hype surrounding Black Friday, but according to experts, it is indeed a great time to shop. It's no secret Black Friday starts well before the end of the week. I've been shopping since Saturday. And Maggie Guerrero is still at it. What are you finding already? Uh, everything half off, 40% at least. There are definitely bargains to be had, but smart shoppers get the biggest bang for their Black Friday bucks. Everyone is advertising sales. Not every sale, not every item is a great price. At the top of the tip list, compare a product's price history by using a site called camelcamelcamel.com. It tracks the prices at Amazon and other sellers for the past year. So you're looking basically at a price history. You'll be able to determine is today's Black Friday price as good as or better than the prices that have been charged over the past year. But getting a low price on a lousy product is no real bargain, says Dorsky. So do a Google search in that TV's model number and check the reviews. Read the reviews of real users, sometimes people that have owned the product for a long time, who have used it really know what's good and bad about it. I find the sales and then I use my coupons. Combine coupons with rebates and save even more money. Gorski says choosing the right credit card is also key. How do you choose the right credit card for your purchases? You want a credit card that's going to double the manufacturer's warranty. Tip number five, the one thing that you should skip on Black Friday, jewelry. Don't buy it then. Wait until Valentine's because that's when the prices are much better. Reporting live from The Loop, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Rob. Okay. Thank you, Dorothy.